The movie begins with a little girl, Chloe Lewis, looking out the window. She looks at an ice cream truck, and then looks up at the sky and sees some bird frozen mid-flight. Her father, Henry Lewis, rushes to her side and shuts the opening. He tells her to be careful, and that she needs to be good at hiding so the bad guys won't find her. She recites a script she memorized. She asks if the woman in the photo will love her. Henry assures her. He tells her it's why they're paying the woman. Her father cleans his pistols and secures the coverings they placed over the window. He asks her about what she would do if he didn't come back from the store. Chloe tells him that she would hide in the closet, and when she runs out of food, she'd go across the street and tell the neighbors, Steve and Nancy, that she is Eleanor Reed and feed them lies. She's mesmerized if they take care of her. She reads from a children's alphabet picture book as we see the walls of their house. There are marks on the walls to show how many days they've been hiding. After reading about baseball in the book, her father asks her about her favorite sport, and she says she's never played a sport. Her father tells her to make something up if she doesn't know the answer to stay safe. He tells her she needs to lie to be normal. They play cards, and she asks for ice cream after dinner. Her father tells her that they don't have ice cream in the house, and she asks him when they'll be going to the store. He tells her that he's been hitting the stores too much, so they need to be careful. She calls his bluff and wins the game. He drinks from his cup and begins bleeding from his right eye. She asks if her mom bleeds from her eyes and if she will one day bleed from her eyes as well. He tells her he hopes her eyes don't bleed. He jokes about him bleeding and she laughs. It's nighttime. Her father brushes her hair as she brushes her mouth. They have a breathing exercise. Henry moves closer to Chloe and yells, You're not normal. She opens her eyes and laughs. He tells her that it's important she practices the breathing exercise. Chloe laughs and mentions something about a mountain. Henry's shocked that she knows about the mountain since he hasn't told her about a mountain. He asks her if she's gone outside, checked through his junk mail, or spoken to someone. She denies. He pressures her to know how she knows about that mountain, but she doesn't tell him. Her father blocks the mail slot in the door with duct tape and burns all his junk mail. Chloe can't sleep, so she grabs a sharpie and draws a woman's face on her pillow. She whispers to the pillow. She hears a sound and goes to investigate. She opens a door and finds a woman tied up. She and the woman scream. Chloe runs away and draws sketches on some cardboard. Before we go on like this video, smash the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell or Slender Man will haunt your dreams. Her father goes to investigate the room. He finds it empty and tells her that ghosts aren't real. He carries Chloe to his bedroom and lays on his bed with her. Henry tells her that he can only protect her when he's awake, so he can't go back to sleep since too much time passes when he's asleep. The next day, Chloe wakes up without her father by her side. She hears a sound downstairs and sees a book pushed through the blocked mail slot. She grabs the book, runs upstairs, and sits to read. The story is about a princess who leaves her castle to buy ice cream from a truck. Chloe tears through some sheets and looks out towards the ice cream truck. She sees a little girl, Harper, and controls her to bring ice cream. Chloe opens the door and is about to grab the ice cream from Harper when her father rushes over and stops her. Harper's mom comes over to apologize. She looks at Chloe and introduces herself as Nancy. Nancy comments that Chloe looks normal. Chloe's father calls her Eleanor and tells her to go inside. Her father's confused about how Harper knows Chloe's real name. He asks Chloe if she's been going outside, and she denies it. He takes her to a closet as punishment for breaking the rules. Chloe plays with a cardboard cutout of an ice cream truck. In an instant, we see Harper in a closet with Chloe. Harper calls Chloe by her real name. Chloe tells Harper to call her Eleanor instead. She asks Harper to play a game with her before her father wakes up. Harper complains and asks why Chloe doesn't play at the park like a regular kid. Chloe says she wants Harper to pretend to be her mom since she doesn't have a mom. Harper rejects the offer at first, but Chloe pesters her and she agrees. They converse for a while and then sleep. Her father opens the door to the closet and sees Harper alone. He apologizes for yelling at her. She tells him she wants to go outside and get ice cream. Henry tries convincing her that outside is dangerous, but she won't budge. He gives in. He tells her that he'll get the bucket of ice cream if she never opens the door again. She agrees and runs to her father. Harper comes down the stairs slowly while staring at the door. Suddenly, her father rushes through the door, covered in blood, and checks if he was followed. She asks if he's okay, and he tells her most of the blood isn't his. 
He pours vodka on the cut as Chloe rummages through the shopping cart he brought with him. She isn't happy and tells him she'll get the ice cream herself. Henry tells her that they have to stay hidden. He slowly passes out and time seems to unfreeze. The birds resume their flight and power is restored in the house. Chloe goes over to a safe, grabs a gun, opens the door and runs out of the house. She walks by and admires some flowers. She sees bubbles in the air and follows them to the ice cream truck. She asks the ice cream vendor, Alan, if she's safe, and he assures her. She hands him a $100 bill, and the man tells her to come inside the ice cream truck to pick any flavor she wants. She's hesitant, but the man convinces her. She asks if he's going to the park, and he says yes, as he hands her a chocolate-flavored ice cream. She looks out of the ice cream truck as it drives away. She's astonished by what she sees. She sees a billboard with an image of a man bleeding from his eyes and comments that her dad bleeds from his eyes as well. Alan asked if she bled like her dad, and she denies it. They drive for a while, finally arriving at the park. He lets her through a gate and pushes her on a swing. He calls her Chloe, and asks if she can do anything special or weird as he pushes her. He continues pushing her, and she screams for him to stop. He finally stops and she gets off the swing. He tells her that her mom was famous, and she had special powers like her. He tells her about a mountain, and how he and Chloe's mom had gone there to destroy it but was interrupted by a police officer who asked to see Alan's eyes. He tells Chloe that the officer is a bad guy that wants to kill him. She uses her powers to mind control him and then leave him. And Alan's impressed. and They leave the park together. Chloe sees a photo in the truck. Alan tells her the photo is of her mom, his daughter. He tells her that he plans to get Chloe's mom back from the mountain. She asks if she can keep it, but her grandfather says that the photo is the only one he has of Chloe's mom. He gives it to her but tells her it's a rental. When they get back to the house, he hands a powder to put in her dad's food whenever she hears the music from his truck. He tells her that she's not going to hide for much longer. Her dad wakes up and instantly the power goes off in the house. He finds Chloe and apologizes for not getting her the ice cream. She calls him a liar. She tells him he lied about the bad people. She screams that she is special. Henry tells her to stop saying that and he leaves. Chloe's looking at the photo she got from her grandfather. Suddenly, she hears a woman crying. She opens the door and sees the same woman as before. Chloe sees that the woman looks like the photo of her mom. She approaches her and asks her if she is her mom. The woman smiles and calls her Chloe. She doesn't believe that Chloe is real, and she screams, thinking her captors were playing mind games with her. Chloe runs out of the room and checks again, but finds the room empty. Chloe goes to check on her sleeping father. We see a news report on the TV of a destroyed Dallas and graves from a certain attack that happened. Ten years ago, she grabs the headset and listens to an interview on TV. We find out that the people with superpowers are called abnormals or freaks. The abnormals have been told to leave the city and relocate to Matic Mountain. And the ones who hide in the city are termed as illegals. Abnormal children caused the Dallas attack and they believe that culling them is the best way. Chloe plays with the cardboard cutouts of her and Harper. She hears a loud sound coming from the closet. Chloe opens the door and a few girls who are having a sleepover rush into the room. They tease and mock Chloe, calling her a freak and saying she doesn't have a mom. Harper rushes over to the closet to show them her mom. The girls disappear. She sits beside her mom and finally, her mom believes she's real. Her mom's ecstatic. She's shocked by how big Chloe's gotten. Chloe was just a baby when she left her a few months ago. Chloe explains how she got there, tells her mom about Nancy, and calls Nancy her new mom. Her mom tells her to tell her father to move on. She apologizes for not being there for her. A sound is heard at the door, and Chloe's mom is no longer beside her. Her father's tending to his wound. She runs to tell her dad about all that happened with her mom. She tries to drug her dad with the substance her grandfather gave her, but he finds out and chases her down the stairs. She tells him to go to sleep, and he falls limp. Time unfreezes again. She bleeds from her eye. Chloe takes some cash from the safe and tells her grandfather she wants to go to her new mom. He tells her to follow him to get to the real mom instead as he wipes the blood. He tells her that they won't be hiding anymore. He dresses as a priest and leads her into a diner to meet Agent Ray, the agent being interviewed on the TV a while ago. He tells Ray that Chloe is abnormal and would like to take both of them to Matic Mountain. Ray confirms that Chloe is abnormal but her grandfather passes the test. 
Chloe runs away and her grandfather follows her. The agent quickly calls for backup. Henry used the attendant at the diner as a decoy. He grabs Chloe and becomes invisible so they can escape. He plans to take Chloe to his apartment, but Chloe uses her powers on him. He regains control and agrees to take her to her house. He's stopped by Henry, who runs at inhuman speeds. Alan and the truck vanish with her father. Henry comes back and tries to return Chloe to their house, but she uses her powers and he lets her go. He rushes to save her from a car when a force field appears around him. He explains that he created a time bubble around their house to keep her safe. The time bubble worked as long as he could stay away. Time moves faster in the time bubble. Which is why Chloe is so grown, even though it's been just a few months since her mom left. The time bubble disappears, and they walk to the neighbor's house. Steve comes out to see him and collects the money when Henry tells him they have to. Nancy welcomes Chloe, but she calls her Eleanor. Harper tells her parents about her experience with Chloe. Everyone's a little freaked out. When Chloe uses her powers on Nancy and gets Nancy to say she loves her, everyone watches in horror as this happens. Henry shocked to see his daughter's powers in action. Nancy regains control and kicks Henry and Chloe out of the house. Henry keeps Chloe in a closet and argues with Alan. While in the closet, Mary appears and soothes her. A man comes into the room and drags her mom away. Chloe rushes after her mom but finds out she's back in the house. Her dad drills nails to a piece of wood to keep her locked away in the closet. Chloe uses her powers and makes him almost kill himself. He breaks it open and apologizes to her. She bleeds from her mouth and passes out. Chloe tells him that her mother, Mary, wasn't dead but held captive in the mountain. Henry's angry at Alan for not letting him know that Mary was alive. They argue and ignore Chloe. Chloe goes over to the window and sees police at their neighbor's house. She manifests a representation of Nancy and an officer. Nancy is turning them into the government for a reward. As they speak, Chloe controls the man and stabs Nancy in the eye with a pen. The officer gets the gun and is about to commit suicide when Henry stops Chloe. The gunshot attracts other officers to the location. They mistake Nancy for an abnormal. She's shot dead. Chloe runs upstairs. She sees her mom chained to an operating table. Henry walks in and sees his wife on the table. He sees a man walk in and shoots him. But the bullets hit a wall. Another man walks in. And they're about to start a process. Alan walks in to see his daughter. When Mary's about to get injected, Chloe takes over the man's body and makes him kill himself. She possesses the other man and helps to set her mom free. The doorbell rings. Henry freezes time and tells them they have to leave because Agent Ray is at the door. But Chloe wants to help her mom break out of prison. Henry has to unfreeze time so Chloe can continue helping her mom. They agree to give Chloe some time. Henry cleans his face with peroxide so he can clean the traces of blood. Ray walks into the house and checks if Henry is abnormal. He passes the test, but sees through the lie and tells him if he tries to kill her, a Hellfire missile will decimate the house. She tries to convince Harry to give up Chloe. Chloe continues helping her mom, and Henry's told that the ADF, or Abnormal Defense Force, wants Chloe because she's valuable to him. Ray tells Henry that there's a drone that will fire a missile at their house if Harry tries harming her. Alan's invisible, so he takes Ray's gun. An alarm from the prison goes off when the guard Chloe possessed attacks a fellow guard. Agent Ray shoots Henry, but Alan escapes. She goes to Chloe and shoots at her, but Alan uses himself as a shield and stops the bullet. Chloe possesses Agent Ray and makes her commit suicide. She hands her the photograph and she dies. Henry comes upstairs and tells the other officer to move away from the house because he has Agent Ray hostage. While Chloe continues helping her mom, some officers move on the house, but Henry quickly freezes time, goes outside, and shoots him. He returns to the house and unfreezes time. The officers fall to the ground. The missile is launched from a Reaper drone. Chloe passes out from exhaustion, and her mom is stuck in prison and can't escape. Chloe wakes up and screams. All the guards at the prison are under her command. The exit opens, and her mom blasts off. Henry freezes time but the bubble collapses slowly because he's injured and exhausted. The missile hits their house. The rubble buries Henry and Chloe. Henry bids his daughter farewell as they fist bump, and he slowly dies. Chloe cries for her father to wake up. Soldiers are closing in on the position, but her mom arrives just in time to save her. Chloe tells her mom that she doesn't want to hide anymore. 
And the movie ends as Chloe grabs hold of her mom and they launch into the sky. Freaks was released in 2018, and it was produced by Amazing Incorporated, Wise Daughter Films, My Way Productions, and Storyboard Capital Group. Some of the stars in the movie are Emile Hirsch, Bruce Dem, Grace Park, Amanda Crew, and Lexi Kolker. If you were Chloe, would you have killed Agent Ray? Tell me with the hashtag Cinema Recap in the comments.